Let's continue to increase the power of Iron Man Exoskeleton. In this video you will see, can I develop the world's first artificial pneumatic muscle systems which works without compressor and using a mixture of the most flammable gas in the universe instead of air? <laughs> Let's go! Remember Hydrogen Torch from the previous video? Just like in previous devices such as Iron Man Repulsor, Jedi Lightsaber and the Pit Bike Booster, I used the electrolyzer only as a combustible gas generator. You know an interesting fact? When the electrolyzer turns water into a mixture of flammable gases, these gases occupy a volume 1868 times larger than original volume of liquid. Just imagine, one drop of water gives 100 liters of hydrogen with oxygen. That is, in fact, we can use electrolyzer as an ideal compressor, build up any pressure that the system can hold and use it. What could be better? Maybe the fact that the electrolyzer doesn't spend additional electricity to build up pressure. In fact, the more the pressure, the more economical water molecules split to atoms. But from the first time of Faraday experiments to this day, all used the electrolyzer only half. So after a short and rewarding commercial break, you'll see for the first time how to use it at 100%. I buy half of the parts for my gadgets on AliExpress, because they are simply not available in local stores, also AliExpress often has sales and you can get necessary parts for a penny. Some time ago my shopping took several days or weeks. A bunch of goods and sellers, prices that are constantly jumping, sometimes you just forget why you came and you grab a bunch of something that you don't need. As a result, while the really necessary goods will crawl to the basket and wait for a payment, half a year will pass. Now I use Ali Radar. Knowing in advance what my next project will be, I find the parts I want and add them to my favorites. Ali Radar monitors the price dynamics of my parts and notifies when the price is the lowest and it's time to buy. Also in Ali Radar you can check all information about the seller in one click, visually see the price chart for goods and finally buy at the lowest price what you really wanted to buy without killing a few days to search. For example, last time with the help of Ali Radar I found 10 atmospheric horses for the pneumatic line 5 bucks cheaper than I wanted to buy first and fittings with a clamping nut in a metric thread which are generally not available in stores. Beside the assistant for the browser, there is an application for the phone, it also contains all the information about the product, price dynamics, seller ratings and similar products, a separate tab contains products with the biggest discounts. Tap a link to the service in the description, download it and buy what you really need at a lower price. Returning to our experiments. To prove that the idea with the compressorless muscles works, we need to make artificial pneumatic muscles. Detailed theory part on pneuma muscle had already been outlined by Professor Charles Hucksmith, so we don't waste time and go straight to practice. You watching Alex Lab channel as if I was shooting videos purely in DIY style. Anyone can make a cheap artificial muscle with their own hand in just a few minutes. We will use thinnest fitness expander to make contractile muscle fibers. Fastia, these are the bags in which real muscles are packed, made from nylon cable sheath. Instead of the tendons that attach muscles to bones, we have durable plastic hoses for 10 atmospheres, shrink tape and 6mm screws. Nylon threads for a tight connection of all these, balloons that can be used in place of the expander and cheap connectors from the car shop. And also the best bodybuilding book of all the time, Strength Training Anatomy by Frédéric Delavier to see where the muscles are attached. You see, the nylon braid can change the length if you inflate a ball or something inside it. Cut off a piece of braid and a piece of expander or balloon of the same length and insert it inside the braid. Plug one end of the expander with a 6mm round head screw. It's important, a sunk head screw can tear rubber when they contract it. Pull the braid on top and tie it with a special knot, which I have long wanted to teach you to make. I'll show it using a large horse as an example so that you can see it better. It is universal knot that is suitable for hermetic sealing of all similar connections. I will use a thick red wire for clarity. Leave the short part of the cord on the left and make such a loop. Now we begin to wrap the junction going through the loop which each turn, having made a wide enough winding, we thread the remaining cord into the loop. And now the funny thing. We pull the left end and tighten the loop so that knot itself is right under the turns. Cut off the ends and we have a quick reliable knot which holds the connection with a large area and it's much better than cable ties or plumbing clamps. Having mastered this knot once, you will learn how to tightly connect tubes and hoses of any diameter even if they don't exactly match. 
as you can see I use it everywhere. So, pull the braid over the screw with the expander and use the knot for a tight connection. From the other end air will enter the muscle, so here you need to fix a piece of plastic hose, plastic connector or 6mm screw with a hole inside. The screw is more difficult to manufacture, but it is perfect to use it. The expander will definitely not come off it and due to the thread and nut it will be convenient to attach it to the muscle's attachment point. Pull this screw onto the expander from the other end and make the same knot. To prevent the braid from loosening up, fix the ends with a heat shrink. That's all! The muscle is ready! Now, with the help of nuts, it can be easily attached to any structure. For a quick start you can test muscle performance with a bicycle pump or compressor. With increasing pressure, the expander presses on the sheath, it increases in diameter and shortens in length. Now you know how to make an artificial muscle that is suitable for air and any other gases or water. Each muscle costs less than one dollar and made in 10 minutes. So, I hope all viewers except my Mimao already guess what I want to do. I want to turn electrolyzer into a perfect electrochemical compressor and using the pressure it builds up and using it pneumatic muscles revive my exoskeleton. And here's the main question. Is it possible to throw a huge noisy compressor out of the standard pneumatic drive circuit and force the muscle to contract, pumping flammable gas under pressure? Don't worry, that's a rhetorical question, the answer is yes, you just need to be crazy. So let's go over the things which we'll not do. We will not try to reach brown gas self-detonation pressure, we will not overheat the dispensing nozzle with too high gas flow rate, we will not poke a hot soldering iron into the muscle and we will not ignite the exhaust gas without a flashback arrestor. But let's not run ahead of the hearse and do the first tests. opinion everything worked out and this is the main conclusion. The circuit works! Free pressure of electrolyzer can be used for pneumatic drive and exhaust brown gas as before is used as fuel for combustion in the engine or for oxidation in fuel cells. A bundle of 5 muscles at a pressure of 5 atmospheres develop an effort of 15 kilos and this is excellent given the teeny weight of the muscles themselves. The only problem, I went over the pressure and yet finally broke both walls of legendary reactor Mark I. But all my gadgets are designed according to the principles of Henry Ford, which means that broken parts can be replaced in 5 minutes, so now the walls are not made of plexiglass, but from 5mm stainless steel and will definitely not go anywhere. When upgrading your version to maximum pressure, do not forget about the insulating spacers, so there is no electrical contact between the bodies. It is clear that such scheme has features with control, mainly due to the fact that air is compressed in contrast, for example, uh, hydraulic circuits. Sometimes the muscle cramp like after a cup of creatine, but this is controlled by a more accurate metering of gas volume and pressure. On the other hand, such muscles have an excellent ratio of weight and thrust. They are much lighter than the hydraulic and linear actuators and unlike the servo drives, they do not need to convert rotary motion into linear. So, it looks like I invented method and device for non-compressor control of pneumatic drives. 
Summing up, in all existing schemes with the pneumatic muscles or other pneumatic drives a compressor is used. In my circuit I use an electrolyzer as a more advanced electrochemical substitute. What are the benefits? The more pressure the compressor delivers, the more energy it consumes. The electrolyzer doesn't consume additional energy at all to create pressure, given that the after pneumatic drives the gas is used as a fuel. The more pressure the compressor creates, the larger it is and more complex its construction. The electrolyzer can create any pressure that the system can withstand while remaining small and simple in design. Moreover, unlike the compressor, the electrolyzer has no moving parts at all. In short, here is the compressor and here is the electrolyzer. Even more, electrolysis under high pressure occurs not with lower, but with high efficiency. And according to the US Department of Energy, it is high pressure electrolysis and research in this area will reduce the cost production of the purest hydrogen for fuel cells, cars, flying vehicles and energy of the future. There is nothing cooler than technical creativity and new discoveries. Who wants to start their own experiments with hydrogen? Join Alex Lab team, uh, download PDF instructions and based on them do your own projects as thousands of uh, international students around the world are doing. Click the like, click the bell, share this video on social networks and do your own projects of pneumatic muscles. Thanks to channel members for opportunity to do what I do and for your help and for your support. I'll be in garage. Keep on working.